In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add our first rule to our web page. To begin with, make sure that your cursor is blinking inside the body area of your web page here. Then go over to the CSS Designer panel over here on the right hand side of Dreamweaver. And you'll notice that when you click on that, it opens up a panel showing sources, media, selectors, and properties. There is no source showing here, even though we did attach a style sheet um, in our first tutorial called Desktop CSS. To see that um, style sheet, you need to click on All from the default current view to All to see all of the sources. And there is the Desktop CSS that we attached. If you don't see that, make sure that you do attach your desktop CSS um, and create a new desktop CSS if you need to do that. Once you see that there, we can go ahead and add our first um, rule for the background color of our page. Uh, and to do that, we simply click on the plus symbol next to selectors and you'll see that it automatically fills in the body tag. And we're going to refer to these as we go along as tags because that's what they are. They're HTML tags that indicate that this is the element of the page that we're going to create a style for. Um, so once we've got the right tag in this box to style, you simply hit return or enter and it brings up the properties for that um, element. And you notice that there aren't a whole lot of properties in here that we can change and that's because the default is to show a set of rules. This checkbox should be unchecked uh, to begin with. Uh, later on you might want to recheck it because it will then just show you the rules that you have set rather than all of the rules um, that are available to you. But for now let's uncheck it and now we can see we can style layout properties, text properties, border properties, and background properties. And there are more as well. But we're just going to start with the background color. So we click on background. And then you see that the swatch pops up here for background color. This is the background color rule we're going to style. Click on the swatch. Choose a background color for your page. Uh, I think I'll go with this pale pink color for my background color. Um, you can see you can also input RGA, RGB, sorry, uh, hex and other um, colors. Also that you've got a color picker here so if you've got an image you can pull a color from um, using the um, color picker as well. But for the moment I'm just going to select a color from the palette area, hit return, it changes the background of my page to the color I've selected and if you want to check and make sure or learn how the CSS rule uh, is, the, is actually written or the syntax for that, you can go up and see here that you've got a little button that says Desktop CSS. If you click on that, it actually shows you the code that's being written to your Desktop CSS button. Um, and so here is the way that the CSS code is written. Um, for those of you who are interested, uh, you can just write this out manually in your code and it will have the exact same effect as doing it through the Dreamweaver GUI or graphical user interface. So that's adding our first rule. Um, next, we're going to add some divs and style them uh, to our page as well. 